What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I'm going to be installing a parking brake on my 66 Mustang. When I purchased this car, it didn't have one installed, the, the previous owner didn't get around to it. I figured I'd eventually get around to it, but now that I have a manual transmission in here, I'm finding that I need this a little more than I thought I did, so I need to get one put in pretty quickly. Let's head over to the bench real quick and take a look at the parts that we're going to install. So the first and obvious piece is the, the, the parking brake handle that goes inside the car. You know, it's going to mount in the dash and you, you know, pull it forward, that kind of stuff. So this is what that looks like. And it mounts underneath the dash here and then it's going to bolt into the firewall. And the holes are already there in the firewall, which is fantastic. But um, you are going to need to put this in there. And from here, we're going to need to have a cable that's going to attach to, the, to this mechanism inside here. It's going to run around this pulley. It's going to go through the firewall and it's going to go down by the headers and by where the speedometer cable goes. And it's going to route to the bracket that's right in front of my, or actually right behind my T5 transmission. There's a, there's a setup that this is going to go to that. And then we're going to need all these parts here, which is you've got this spring, this lever bar, and then this part's going to thread onto here and it's going to hook into this and all this is going to attach to this cable setup here that's going to split and go from and it's going to wrap around this piece here it's going to go to each of the drums back in the back of the car so what we'll want to do is install this first and just work our way back to the drums putting everything in place and then the uh, don't want to forget these clip this clip comes with uh, with this piece here, um, this is the cable that goes out of the out of this unit through the firewall, and then these clips are going to help hold this in place. And there's two little tabs underneath the to the transmission tunnel that's to plug into. So let's get the car jacked up and uh, and start putting this in. After you get the car jacked up, you're going to want to remove the driver's seat because it's a lot easier to access underneath the dash where we're going to put that parking brake handle. So before we put this handle in and install it in the car. You know, these two bolts right here are going to go into those two holes back there in the firewall. We actually have to put part of the, we have to install the cable below that's going to connect to this first. Then we need to attach it to this device before we mount it into the car. So let's get under there and show you what we're going to remove. Here underneath the, the motor, here's the transmission. Your exhaust tubes may be different, but you need to get to this bracket that's installed on the firewall because we need to connect the first half of this first cable to this then install it back in the car, and then we need to feed the cable through the firewall where we're gonna connect it to the parking brake handle. And these bolts here, these are these use a 3 8 socket to pull this off. This intermediate cable is what we're gonna to wanna to install onto this clip that we just took out the, from the firewall. And we're gonna to wanna to slide this in here and put one of these clips in here to hold it in place. And then we're going to feed this up through, there's a hole in the firewall that we're gonna feed this up to and we're gonna connect it to the parking brake handle. The other end of this, there's another one of these brackets that's fixed into the, into the transmission tunnel and we'll just push it through there, the same thing, and, and put one of these clips on. Um, this is an opportunity if you guys want to, you could, you can, I'm gonna buff this down, sand it down and, and just shoot it with a coat of paint just to make it look a little bit nicer before I attach this. Now that we got this clip painted, I want to go ahead and get this cable installed. If you were looking at the front of the car, this thing sits on the firewall like this. The cable comes up through here and into the, into the passenger or the driver's compartment there. So we want this cable to come in this way. And I want to put this clip on here, but because it's a tight fit, I'm going to put it in the vise here so that I can, you know, use a little, you know, um, like a hammer to, to persuade this clip to go on a little easier. That's installed. Now we can go ahead and bolt it back in the car and then we'll fish this up into the driver's compartment. All right, so I've got this kind of positioned. I need to go ahead and put the screws back in the bracket here that hold in place. It's gonna be kind of hard to show this on camera, so I'm just showing you that this you know, goes behind this exhaust tube here and then we need to bolt those, those two screws in to hold this bracket in place and then we'll fish that cable up into the uh, driver compartment. All right, now you can see those two screws there are in that bracket holding it in place. Uh, the other end of this cable, we're going to feed in and it's going to go into this bracket. And I did notice when I was painting things looking down here, you can remove that bracket. Um, but 
there's so much undercoating sprayed on the heads of those bolts I can't even get a socket on there so that's fine I'm just gonna leave it for now but if you guys want to you could take it off and clean yours up before you attach it to the end of this this cable here so now let's go up to the top and look at the end of the end of that cable so we can feed it into the firewall now looking below the master cylinder here, you can see the end of that cable sticking out. There's actually a hole in the firewall that's kind of at an angle. So if you reach down there, you can grab the head of that cable, push it into the cable sleeve you just mounted, and then you can feed it into the hole, and then you'll be able to climb inside the, the driver compartment and pull the rest of the way through. Uh, let's see if I can do that here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, anyways, it's fed in the hole. Let's go look inside the compartment. All right, so you can see that it poked through here. Actually, we probably want to have this cable run behind these wires. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we need to feed this into the parking brake handle, but we need to attach that first before we put the, the parking brake handle into the holes here in the firewall. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some more of this out um, so we can attach it to that handle. We're going to need to disassemble this just a little bit to get this pulley out of the way. Pull this cotter pin out. Pull the pin out, gets this pulley out of the way. What we need to do is if there's, there's a little latch up here. If you lift that up, we can push this back just a little bit farther and that will expose the end where we can put the head of this cable inside here and trap it inside that, that piece. Except that my end of cable here has a little bit of a head on. I'm gonna to try to cut that little tip off there because it's more, should be more of a ball that fits in this socket. This surprisingly needed a lot of work to get that ball shape to fit in the pocket here on this parking brake handle. Had I known that, I probably would have maybe test fitted this on the bench and make sure that ball fits before I do all this because that was a lot of work here in the car. Okay, so now from here, we need to install it in the car. And we got a couple things we need to do. We need to make sure that, that the, these holes back here in the firewall line up there, but then this has to go on the dash. But actually, this goes above the dash up on this edge. I've got to get this out of the way here. So we need to finagle this around so that I can get this up here. And then it didn't come with the, fa there's two fasteners that we need to bolt this, to there's, there's holes underneath the dash here, but the two fasteners that we need are 516-24 thread uh, to, make, to make these nuts work inside this piece here. So I'm gonna get this out of the way, get those bolts so that we can put this up here. Oh, I almost forgot, we gotta put this pulley back in here so we get a, Pull this back to the normal position. Put this pulley in here. Put the pin in. And the cotter pin. There, now we can feed this in here. All right, as we get this tucked up underneath here, you'll notice that as you put the back end of this bracket into the firewall, the cable kind of pushes it out. And so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to put the fasteners in here just to kind of hold it in place, then go into the firewall there and put those nuts on the back of those studs. Then you come back and you can tighten this up. All right, there you can see the two nuts on the studs there on the firewall side. So let's go back inside and finish installing the rest of that handle. All right, and then here's the other two bolts. I had the, I have this vent bracket. If you guys have this in, in your car, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you put it back in here and that just bolts up with the holes for this brake handle. Okay, so now we're done up here. Uh, the rest of this stuff is underneath the car. And here's just a quick look at the handle, of course, the cable's not hooked up, but you'll see once we get her done. All right, getting closer. So now we need to deal with the other end of this cable and where it's gonna attach is inside this bracket right here. And this, the best way to do this is just kinda feed it in through like that and that kinda sits inside the, then we're gonna put a clip, one of these on the back side. But before I do that, notice that this cable is resting against the exhaust here. I don't want that, it may be different in your car. I'm gonna you know, either get some zip ties or something and kind of hold this out of the way or make a bracket to kind of like what I did with the speedometer cable here. I just made a little tiny bracket just to hold it away from the exhaust because it was starting to melt the, well, right the cable up here. So anyways, uh, so you want to address that if, if it touches your exhaust. But let's get that clip on and then we can start doing the rest of the parts that go into the uh, subframe bracket or the transmission sub uh, cross member <laughs> bracket. All right, so the next couple pieces we're gonna use is this bracket here, and we're gonna utilize this system here on the, the, uh, <laughs> the cross member for the transmission. 
and there's you'll notice there's gonna be some slots in here and there's a cutout this cutout right here it's gonna pivot on that spot if you slide it through here and you put that that part pivot part on this edge here and it's gonna pivot like like this and then we want to put this cable through and it's just the head of this cable is just gonna sit in this trough right here and that's sufficient there put that in there so now this is set up good to go we have two holes that we're gonna utilize this hole on the far side that's not centered is gonna be for the spring and we're gonna save this for last because uh, we need to get the rest of the cable hooked up but this is gonna go through here and there's a spot over here on the subframe that uh, you can't see it's out of camera but there's some holes in the side of there which I'll show you when we hook this up and this will keep tension on this lever and keep this thing so when you let go of the brake it'll it'll pull this lever back and keep it in, in the un, you know in the open position this is going to sit inside here this little J setup here is going to go through this hole and then we're going to put the rear cable it's going to sit in this trough and it's going to get distributed supposedly evenly you know across this bracket to each side of the rear drums so I'm going to get this put in place and then we need to go and disassemble the drums to get the cables ready to install in the drums and then in this piece here Noticing that due to the H pipe that I have here, uh, this bracket I need to go this way. I need to go up and in that way instead of in the top and coming down because the head of this this rod here touches the H pipe. So this is fine. It'll work, but it's uh, it's not ideal, but it, it'll still work. Okay, so that's there. Let's go ahead and start disassembling the drum so that we can get uh, the cables ready. So as you can see on mine, this is <laughs> this is where the parking brake cable is supposed to be coming in, but uh, mine's cut. So. What we need to do is get all this out. Now what we need to part we need to get to is this lever back here behind the drum shoes because the way that this cable attaches from the parking brake. So you have to disassemble and well I don't know of another way but it looks like you have to disassemble the the whole rear drum system. If you guys are unfamiliar with this this is a good time to take a picture of what you've got where everything goes. There is a certain place for each spring. There's different shapes and stuff like that so uh, and there are some tools that you can use like this tool for taking off these little caps here on these springs and something like this kind of tool uh, because the way this thing's shaped on the back there it's easier to get these springs off using these kind of tools and stuff like that so you can do it other ways but it, I make it it makes it easier with these kind of stuff with these kind of tools these are kind of a the kind of a install one time the way there's little tabs on the on the back of this here so I'm gonna have to basically ruin this system to get that out but that's okay because I'm not going to be utilizing this the parts that we're going to put in have everything we need that's new so let's get these shoes off So this is the part that we want to disengage from this parking brake cable is this lever here. So once we get that off, just you can just push the spring up and, and get that off. Now we need to get this system out of there. And as you can see, this thing right here, it's got these little fingers on there. And I might be able to push them in to get this thing out, but I'm thinking I'm just going to cut this thing apart until I get this guy out of there. So that was easier than I thought. All right, so now we've got to put this whole new cable system in there and uh, un unravel this thing. There's going to be one side uh, or one cable that goes on each drum, right? And then this whole thing loops up front and connects up with that bracket we were just putting underneath the transmission cross member. So we're going to feed this through the back side of this drum plate here, this, uh, this backing plate. But you got to make sure you're paying attention where things are being routed, that you're clearing your exhaust and driveline, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the other side and take that other, the other drum apart and get that piece out. And then kind of have a, a look at how this is all going to fit in there and make sure I can route the cables appropriately and to, to where everything needs to go. 
All right, now that we got that drum taken apart, now I can start putting the cable in. And what I did is I went ahead and fed the cable up inside this little trough thing here. You have to take the screw out, or take this, this stud out, and put the cable below that stud, and then put the nuts back on. And you want to do your best to find the center of this and, and put it in there. And then as you come back this way, there's two little support pieces here on the transmission tunnel here, or the driveline tunnel. And there's little tabs on this thing that when I push this in all the way, it's gonna lock it in place. And I don't wanna do that yet. There's one on both sides here. Some of you guys may have a little clip that holds it in place. Uh, this one just has little fingers, kinda like what we were dealing with on the, on the drum backing plates. And then if we come around over here to the back of the drums, I've got the cable fished in and it's sitting in the back of the drum, just like we took that other one out. I haven't pushed it in all the way yet. And once we do that, it's kind of a one and done deal. So make sure you get everything lined up before you push that in place. And then there's also a sleeve, a sliding sleeve on here that I moved to kind of help protect against the, uh, the heat from the muffler, you know, rubbing on this cable because there's nothing that holds it in place. Now you may have some brackets or something that you can connect onto here. I don't have anything like that in this car. I don't know if they're gone or if I never had them, um, but that would help keep the cable out of the way. Um, but I do have that jacket on there. So I think, and then here's the other side. I got the passenger side, or the, I guess this would be the driver's side. Same thing, once I put this cable in and push it on the way, it's a one-time deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we can go ahead and attach the drum shoe to the other end of that cable, and then go ahead and put the drums back together. All right, I went ahead and clipped that in there, so now this is in place. And this is where we wanna hook up. What we do is we can just compress the spring and slip that in there just like that. And then that way, that'll hold it it's in place. And then you wanna go ahead and put the drum shoes and everything back together like you had it to begin with on both sides. And then we'll wrap it up underneath over there where we put that bracket in. That time lapse of me putting together that drum was kind of embarrassing. I should have filmed the driver's side. It was a lot faster and uh, <laughs> didn't take nearly as long. I didn't struggle as much. So the last two things we need to do is just need to tighten up this bracket here and then put the spring in, the return spring for this lever. So what, like I was saying before, you do your best to try to find the, this cable center so that it's centering it in this bracket, you know, this trough here the best it can. And if you use something like this ratcheting box in, you can come in here and tighten this up get these cables nice and tight. Not too tight, because you don't want to be activating the, the, the drum brakes, but you do want them snugged up. Then we want to put this nut on the back here to, to lock that in place. Now we need to put this return spring in, and this is going to be a little bit difficult, uh, getting it to hook over here in this hole on, the, on, the, on this lever. But you need to, there's two holes here on the lower frame. You need to fish this in there, like just like that. And then bring this around so that we can hook it on to this bracket. All right, that's in there. You may need to trim the head of this bolt off if it's gonna get interfere with the uh, U-joint here on your drive lane. All right, so that's good. Uh, I think I gotta test the brakes and see if it works.
All right, guys, so that's it. That's a parking brake installed in a Mustang. Um, I was gonna mention, you know, what, when you go through and you're, you're testing the brake, if you need to adjust it, that, that nut and stuff on that U-shaped bracket underneath there, right by the drive line, you can tighten that and that will tighten the cable and that you can fine tune where you need to be with your brake and if you, know, if it, if you, got, you, know, if you can move the car or not. So, um, and then <laughs> hopefully you won't struggle like I did with putting back those drums. The whole drum assembly can just be a pain uh, with those springs and stuff. So other than that, that's it guys. That's how you do a brake setup and um, uh, we're good to go. Um, on to the next part. So guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.